Carrie here. I'm here, guys, to my Sunday haul for New York City Comic Con. Um, it was a much shorter haul. Most of these books are middle grade. And I did buy a lot of stuff on Sunday because they had a lot of sales. So, yeah. I also was not on the floor for, like, two hours because I was doing autographing with um, some of the cast members of Angel. So, I wasn't on the floor for, like, a good two hours. Um, but, yeah. Let's get into it. Um, again, I always say that it's, it's, um, it is, um, um, it's Kids Day at New York City Comic Con, so all these books are all kid themed. But The Best of Iggy by Ann Barrows, um, this is just another really short read, um, and I think it just has to do with, like, it follows, like, a little boy in his life, but it's a very short graphic novel. This is, like, not even 200 pages. So I will probably add it to my um, graphic novel shelf and probably get to read it hopefully soon. Um, this is actually one that I've actually already read. I read this a while ago. Um, but this is Unicorn Jane's, Lumber Jane's Unicorn Power. And I actually did wind up reading this a while ago. So I might actually wind up tossing this into like a giveaway from New York City Comic Con. But I did wind up already reading this like two years ago from B, from Book Con. So... I did get it in this haul. Um, I also wound up picking up a copy of If We Were Giants um, by Dave Matthews and Clyde Barrett-Smith. Um, renowned musician, environmentalist, and humanitarian Dave Matthews in collaboration um, with popular children's book author Clint Barrett-Smith has conjured an exciting point of fantasy about a girl who confronts her past mistakes before she can save her peaceful forest community from a gigantic threat. And this comes out in March. Dave Matthews, that sounds cool. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to dive into this book. I love books about nature. Another book that I wound up picking up from Penguin was Planet Omar Accidental Trouble Magnet. And this is another, like, you know, probably like a picture, but mostly a text story. Um, and this comes out in February. Um, and this is about a Muslim boy with a huge imagination. That's cool. Also, for Epic, I did wind up getting another copy of Seven Deadly Shadows. I will be doing this in a giveaway at some point this month. Um, and it does not come out until January. So, yeah. But for you guys, it's exciting because you guys have a giveaway. Um, another book that I wound up picking up was Wink by Rob. A novel by Rob Harnell. This is also another Penguin one. Um, but I think this is about a young boy and he winds up getting, like, eye cancer. Um, and it's based on Rob Harrell's real life. So that's kind of cool. And this is a def this is like like an autobiographical book, but I'm sure that it gives you another diverse heroine or hero. And I'm really excited for that. It's also contemporary. Surviving Middle School with One Eye Open. So that sounds cool. And it comes out in March. Um, at the end of the day, um, Fear Strange was doing um, a middle grade drop. So I got two. This is This is a friendship story, period. Go with the flow. Um, good friends help you go with the flow. Best friends help you start a revolution. Um, but this is a graphic novel that comes out in January 2020. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited about that. And I will put this on my graphic novel shelf. Also in that haul, I wound up getting Thieves of Weirwood um, by William Sherving. And this comes out in April. And this follows two kids as they are determined to steal their way up the ranks. And the Burglars Ernest of Style meets Spider Chronicles in this brand new illustrated middle grade fantasy series brimming with action, humor, and monsters beyond imagination. Um, but this book has a lot of illustrations in it, which I'm really excited for. Ironically, I wound up picking up a copy of The Mistwork School of Music Craft by Jessica Corey. I totally read this book already. I read it about like a month ago on from Audible Originals, and I loved it. So I'm so happy to have a physical copy. And again, I might wind up tossing this into the giveaway for the middle grade books once I do one. Um, I did get another copy of Maya and the Rising Dark. So again, I might do this as like a combined giveaway at some point. Um, maybe with Lumberjanes. So what I might do is I might do these three as a combined middle grade giveaway. And then this as um an adult giveaway so this is that's what i'm probably gonna do and i'll probably set that up on wednesday when i'm home um i also got a book for buying one i got christopher's more fool 
Um, and if I remember correctly, he writes like I feel like he wrote like short stories, but maybe I am wrong. But I would like to read. I want to keep get into reading more diverse reads, and this definitely would fit into that. I also picked up a free copy of the Alfred Star Wars Alfred Alphabet Squadron by Alexandra Freed. Um, and this is just another Star Wars book. There wasn't as many this year as I was, like, expecting. Um, but I'm happy to pick up one. And I also picked up a copy of Gloom, Gloomtown by Ronald A. Smith from HMH. Um, and this comes out in February 2020. And this is about a young kid who gets a job at a spooky mansion. And the last most exciting book of this haul was Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. And I actually wound up meeting her. Um, I'm really excited to dive into this read. Um, and this wasn't being dropped. You had to go get it, go to a signing. But yeah, so those are all the things I got for free at New York City Comic Con today. Um, and I'm going to come back in a couple hours to do my purchase haul. So be sure to keep a nose on my channel for the next month. Because over the next month, I will have posted all of these videos. But I'll talk to you guys later for another video. Bye. Slurry here. I'm here today to do my purchase haul from New York City Comic Con. I'm going to show you guys the books that I got, um, the extra stuff that I got, and the posters that I got. If you do want to see the shirts that I have, just tell me in the comments and I'll happily do a haul of that. But these are the books that I wound up purchasing or the stuff that I wound up buying. So the first one I just forgot to put in my other haul, but this was came from one of the publishers and it's called The Worst Case Scenario Survival Handbook. And I think it's kind of meant to be a little bit funny, but I mean, it seems like it has something pinned. So they were giving this away. I went up taking it home. My dad was looking at it, so he might actually wind up reading it before I do. Um, you know, the thing that they do at cons is like, if you buy a book, you'll get like an arc of something. So some of these I bought just to get the arcs. Um, but I did buy Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered by Catherine Killefrost and Georgia Hammondcourt. And this is a dual memoir from the creators of The Hamperdness of My Favorite Murder. And I love, like, true crime stuff. So I think that this would be, like, an interesting read. Um, but, yeah, so it says, stay sexy and don't get murdered. Um, this was, like, the first book I bought at the convention. And it was The Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hotwitch. Um, and this is about books that aren't finished by their authors reside in the library of the unwritten in hell. But when... Restless characters who emerge from those unfinished stories escape. It is up to the librarian to track them down and keep them and to keep the connect collection complete. That sounds really, really cool. Reminds me of the Invisible Library, which I still have not read. Ironically, it's from the same publishing house. Um, but I really do want to read it. Um, and yeah, so this came from Penguin. Um, I've actually been getting a little bit better about reading historical fiction. So the newest book that out from the re is The Secrets We Keep. And this is like a dual timeline story about CIA operatives and secrets and spycraft. Um, and it's also a Reese book club book and I really do want to read it. So hopefully I will get around to it soon. Simon was doing, um, like, if you bought this book, you got a tower read, and I'm, I'm always one that goes for tower reading. So I got Waking the Witch, Reflections on Woman, Magic, and Power by Pan Grossman. She also does a podcast, and she gave me, like, a tower reading. Um, but I'm, I read the first chapter, and I was intrigued enough, so that's why I wound up being it. And a fortune reading was right there, and I could not resist, so. I also wound up meeting um, Holly Black and getting Mo Heart of Morthine which is um, a novelization by When Magnificent Puts a Crown on Mara's Head, She Didn't Think She Was Putting Her in Danger. Um, yeah, so this, like, j is about to come out, so it came out a little bit early. But I could not resist not meeting Holly Black, so I did it. Um, and I also wound up picking up a copy of Rebel by Mary Lou because she was there signing, and I had such a hard time ever seeing both these authors live and in person so when I saw that they were there I said you know what I'll just get the book signs and hopefully I'll get the chance to read it I still do need to read the series but it is on my list um I also wound up buying Nancy Drew Files number one by Carolyn Keene and this is three books in one so this is um 
Secrets Can Kill, Deadly Intent, and Murder on Ice. And then I just have to get the other one, which is Nancy Drew Files number two, once I finish this one. I was planning on buying them together, but then they sold out when I came back from my angel signing. So, alas, that didn't happen. But I did get part one. And I was on a real big kick this week reading Christina Lauren books. So I picked up two more. I picked up The Unhoneymooners. And this is about... A girl who goes to her sister's wedding, she's the maid of honor, and when her sister and her her groom wind up getting food poisoning, her and the best man wind up having to go on the honeymoon for them and pretend to be married, um, and it's like a love to hate, I think. But I've heard really good things. I really like their first book. I'm in the middle of their second. So this will probably be another book that I read during convention season, and that's what I learned. I like to read contemporary women's fiction during convention season, because I can kind of just read it online. Um, but this is another one that I got from them. And um, HMH was doing a buy one, get one, and they were 30% off. So I went up picking up Grim Lovelies and Midnight Beauties. Um, and I want, I remember I started Grim Lovelies like a while ago. And I know it's about a society where there's like a human world, but then there's people that like are their like pets or they're like, you know. But I've heard very good things about this. And I do really like Megan Shepard, so... I figured I would pick it up and try it. Um, I also ended up picking up Twice in a Blue Moon by Christina Lauren, um, which um, um, is another book. I actually know nothing about this. Um, but I know that it was at BEA last year. I actually got a copy from my friend Tiffany, but I wound up giving it to her. So when I started, I wanted up, I would get it, and I'll see if I like it. Um, and then, um, when I got Twice in a Blue Moon, it was buy one, get one, so I wound up picking up Thunderhead by Niels Schusterman, um, which is a sequel to Scythe, and, um, the last book I picked up at the con was I'm Pregnant by Jenny Hendricks and Teddy Ka Ted Kaplan, and this is a book about a girl who realizes that she's pregnant and wants to go have an abortion, and she goes on, like, a road trip. I'm sure it deals with a lot of hard-hitting hard issues. But according to my friend Jen, it's like very funny as well. And I, I, I really hope that I get to read it soon. So those are all the physical books that I got from um, New York City Comic Con that I bought. Now let's get into the fun stuff. Lori here. I'm here to do my mini purchase haul. Some of them are plushy. Some of them are just experiences that I had that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, and my buying haul is always a little bit lesser. So I figured I could put this in here. So... I did wind up getting this little guy. This is from Tea Turtle. I don't know if it has a name. It doesn't have a name. This is from Tea Turtle. But I'm going to call her Blueberry. And if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see she's been joining all my um, all my um, books that I've been taking pictures of. Um, also, the Tea Dragon Society was there and President Well, The new Tea Dragon book just did come out. But I wound up getting a plushie of Jasmine. Um, and I didn't... The, the only reason I didn't wind up buying... The Tea Dragon Society is my edition of the Tea Dragon Society is like this little. And I just couldn't justify not having my books matched. So I'll probably wind up getting it from the library or by some weird coincidence. If Owl Crate decides to do another edition, that would be excellent for my collection. But I really loved it and this little girl just has to come home with me. Um, so in addition to that stuff, I also bought a lot of shirts. Um, I'm not going to show the shirts just because there's a lot of them and most of them are not even bookish themed. But if you do want to see the bookish shirts, comment below and I'll try to I'll try to add that haul to my filming list at some point this week. But um, I normally don't do autographing at New York City Comic Con because it takes me off the floor, and I just don't wind up doing it. But I wound up doing it this year because I'm a big fan of Angel and Buffy, and I just had to um, meet these people. So I wound up meeting four. I wound up meeting Alexia Stanahoff, who played Weasley Wesley on Angel and Buffy. Um, I wound up reading meeting Charisma Carpenter, who plays um, Cordelia on Angel and Buffy. I wound up reading Amy Acker, who played Fred, um, and James Masters Spike, who oh my goodness, I like adored him. I thought he was such a gem. They were so nice, so nice to like take their time and come meet us and I really was just so happy that I wound up meeting them um so that was, a, that was an experience that I did that I 
don't always do, but I really did have fun. Um, and I also said that I never really go down to our Artist Alley because I'm always busy doing other things. But I did wind up going down to Artist Alley for like 20 minutes before that. And I wound up picking up these such cute prints that are just Winnie the Pooh characters in various garbs. Um, I got a Marvel one because I love Marvel. I got a Spider-Man one because I love Spider-Man. And I got, no shocking here, a Harry Potter one. Um, and I just, I really loved his style. And I think he did these for his kid's nursery. That was like his plan. But yeah, so that's my um, my my mini purchase haul. Um, and yeah, so let me know in the comments what you really like that I got or books you were excited that I attend. This was a whole month series, so I really hope that you guys liked it. And I'll have so much stuff to read, guys. Like, so much stuff to read. Um, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later for another video. Bye.